As a first time freelancer on Upwork, I know how confusing it can be. You're trying to win your first job and you're thinking to yourself, what should I focus on? Should I focus on my proposals, my filters? Should I focus on my profile? There's so many things. Well, in this video, what I'm going to talk about is the five filters that you should focus on as a first time freelancer to win your first job on Upwork. One of the most difficult things for new freelancers on Upwork is finding their first job. There's so many filters, so many jobs out there. How do you go about strategically finding that first job, getting your first review, and getting started on the platform. In this video, I'm going to cover the five filters every Upwork freelancer should utilize in order to help them find their first job on Upwork. So when you log into Upwork, you typically come into this uh, sort of homepage over here. And if you're on a different tab, all you need to do is go to find work, the first tab, and click on find work, just to come back to this page over here. And then what you'll notice over here is when it, when it opens up like this, click on the search button over here. Once this opens up, you'll see that it gives you a full list of all the jobs that are available at the moment, right? So right now there's 170,743 jobs online, right? So as a first time freelancer, it's going to be intimidating trying to think about, you know, how to go about applying for a first job, what, what should you look for and what should you not look for? So here's what I recommend in terms of my process. So number one, filter number one that you should utilize is experience level. So obviously if you're a first time freelancer, you want to avoid expert intermediate even though you may consider yourself an expert or an intermediate individual just to get that first job to get your foot in the door and just to get that first review so you're considered trustworthy I recommend starting with entry level right so click on this over here and again it's only the first job right just to build yourself up so you click on entry level over here and all of a sudden it went from 170,000 to 21,000 right so some big difference over here filter number two what I recommend over here is looking at number of proposals. And for this, click on less than five, five to 10 and 10 to 15. Okay. So as you notice over here, this reduces the job amount even further, right? Then you go further down over here category. We're not too concerned about because again, it's our first job. So we're not going to be specific, right? Number three, the third filter over here is job type. I would highly recommend that you focus on fixed price. And the reason being is that typically jobs that are hourly, they're looking for someone for, you know, perhaps a, a short to long-term project, right? Whereas what we're looking for as a first time job is that quick job, just to say that we got our first job up there and we got our first positive view on our our profile as well so for that I focus on fixed price okay I don't specify what type of uh, what type of amount should be obviously ideally less than a hundred dollars you could do that as well but for the most part I put in fixed price then filter number four right is, is client history we want to make sure that the clients have some sort of hiring background as well right and the reason being is that if clients have history there will also be reviews by freelancers and they will talk about what their experience was with the client we don't want for our first job to have a bad review from the client and then again that puts us in a hole and especially it doesn't look good when you're when you're starting out brand new on the platform and last but not least for filter number five for client location i typically tend to focus on north so north america and it's written over here as northern america and the reason being is i noticed that for example a lot of individuals they apply for different jobs and and those jobs are in uh you know different uh, different countries some of them being third world countries and a uh, higher chance of there being scams and the jobs not being legitimate right not to say that all jobs in those third world countries are are scams but just for the sake of getting that first job I would probably recommend focusing on Northern America for now right and what do you notice over here there's only 1168 jobs right and then typically what I would do if it's not set like this is sort by newest and then go to the bottom and select if, if yours is select for 10 click on 50 per page right I don't want to be scrolling uh scrolling endlessly to find the jobs so let's go over here now what I'm going to be doing in the second part of this now that I've used my filters are look is looking for jobs that are generic enough and even though my profile doesn't match with it I can still do the job for my first review right so for example let's take a look over here so we see over here YouTube banner so it's very specific right to a banner right find blog to guest post with task 101 okay create an alternative modern version of existing logo right so again these are more specific ones over here splash screen and on screen animations this is a bit more specific over here as well logo design google analytics setup ios voiceover artist over here unity errors you no know, looking for nv basso video editor for youtube channel and what you want to do over here is continue to keep looking though, right? Keep looking. And eventually what's going to happen is you're going to come down, come down. And I'll look at this though. This is the perfect job, right? And the reason why this is, is that it's something related to a survey, a survey or quiz, something where you don't need to have a specific background in. And they're always looking for participants, right? So this is a perfect one over here as well. Again, participants over here, right? That's another one that stands out. Looking for YouTube video editor. Okay. That's very specific. I mean, if you have that specific skill, great, but 
for someone who just has like general skills and doesn't have anything specific, I'm looking for very general jobs. French tutorials, website help, okay? Logistics supply chain, lead generation, email marketing, right? And you can keep going further and further, right? But the objective over here is, as I mentioned before, is as you start looking over here, actually, well, let's look at this one over here. And here's one over here as well though, right? So I'll open up these three just to give a more understanding and context of how, why and how I chose these jobs, right? So let's open them up. Let's open up with the, 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 the latest one first, okay? If you notice over here, job details, article and blog writing, short task providing feedback on our digital finance website, right? See the word feedback over here? Anybody, anybody could provide feedback, right? Which means that this is generic enough and general enough that basically anyone with any background on Upwork can do the job. And let's look at it now. Hello, we're looking to receive testing service and feedback from article and blogs writing professionals for our new, newest project, right? So, okay, fine. It, you have to have a little bit of experience in this. However, in terms of actual skill, all you need is just to provide, please review the attached feedback file and answer the questions. That is it. $10 entry level. And what you notice over here is that they have spent over $200,000, 347 jobs posted. So they're legitimate, right? And as you can see, there are many, many jobs over open over here, many good reviews by, by freelancers as well. This again is a legitimate job that I would go for as a, as a first time freelancer. Let's look at another one over here. Participants for science-based body type quiz. Again, an amazing job. They spent over $60,000. All it is, job requires a smartphone to take, take three appropriate research pictures. And if you go to the bottom again over here, you'll notice one thing, look at that. That's all they do. They hire freelancers. They use them as participants for the survey or whatever they're doing. And again, they're paying them out, right? We, and then, and then as, as I mentioned before, we want to get just that entry level job just to get our foot in the door, right? Let's look at one last job over here as well. Look at this. Comment, reply, body type, scientific, scientific, body type quiz. So all you're doing is take the scientific body type quiz contract. That is it. Follow the instructions, go through the process, and everything will be taken care of for you. And again, as you go to the bottom again over here, you see the same stuff again. Actually, what's interesting thing is I believe this job is actually posted by the same individual, All right? Let's just see over here, Santa Fe. Yep, exact same individual, right? Two types of jobs, but again, you can see the same thing over here, which is that they're, he's looking for, or, or he or she is looking for an individual to take part as, as a participant in some sort of research project, a quiz project. And as I showed you this one over here, what, which was providing feedback for the article and blog writing professionals, right? For their newest project, the best paystubs.com, right? So just to recap over here, as I mentioned before, there are five filters that I always recommend for a first time freelancer, right? Number one is obviously, as we, we covered over here, starting at an entry level job. Number two, focusing on number of proposals. We, do, we only want to apply to jobs that have up to 15 proposals. We don't want to compete with too many people, especially for a first job. Number three, we want to focus on fixed price jobs because they're more of a one-time need, one-time service, and people are more willing to trust someone for a one-time job in terms of someone hiring a person brand new on Upwork, and it happens to be an hourly job for an extended period of time. Number four, client history. As I mentioned before, avoid clients with no hires, right? It's just more difficult uh, in the sense that you just don't know the history of the client, and maybe they're not a good individual to begin with. Maybe they give, leave a bad review. You don't want that as a first-time as a first-time freelancer. And lastly, as I mentioned, client location, focusing on Northern America, just to ensure that you reduce the chances of jobs having some sort of issues with regards to either being a job that's not legitimate or anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and let me know in the comment section the filters that you use in order to get your first job on Upwork. I would love to hear back from everybody so I can incorporate that in a future video as well for the channel.